Okay, so I'm in my Kubota MX6000. It's a little loud, we got the doors open. Um, and let's say I just wanted to get up and go do something outside, like go get a drink, but it's really hot out, so I wanna let this AC blow and I don't want the tractor to die while I'm going to do something else. I wanna keep it nice and cool in here, so let me get my butt off the seat and go outside to do something. And, oh, the tractor just died. Well, probably, PTO is not engaged, so it's probably gonna be this little pedal. And let's see, can I start back up? Nope, I got nothing. So what we end up having to do all the time is give it a little tap. Oh, and it starts up. Well, that's starting to get to be a pain in the butt. So if you're sitting in the cab of the tractor, underneath the cab on the right hand side if you open your right hand door you can push on the pedal and you see all of this linkage moving so this is going into forward this is going in reverse but as you can see there's no return springs i don't see a sensor that's telling it uh, if it's in the neutral position so let's go on the left hand side of the tractor if you're sitting in the tractor so on that right hand side of the tractor that we just looked at, I did lube all that stuff up. I cleaned it up and then sprayed it with just like some regular old spray on lube. Um, and that did not fix the issue. So now we're on the left hand side of the tractor and looks like this right here is the plunger. So this little metal tab pushes on this plunger. That tells it that it's in the neutral position. And it looks like it's got like, a little shock absorber right here and I, I guess that just makes it like smooth where you push on the pedal and it has a little bit of resistance to it and there's a ton of linkage in here so let me push on this pedal and uh, you can see it work if I can reach it so that's reverse And that's forward. So you can see it's pulling on it like this. And then you can see that metal tab move away from the plunger, let off, and it should push into that plunger. So first thing I'm gonna do, everything in here that moves this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, this little hinge piece, this hinge piece, all of this stuff, we're gonna clean it up with some WD-40, spray a little lube on it, and we'll try it and see if it works. All right, so we're just gonna spray all this stuff. Give it a little squirt. Everything's getting cleaned up. All right, so that was all WD-40, just clean everything up. We'll put a little bit of this lube on everything. This is just garage door lube. I don't expect this to work. But it's not gonna hurt anything to keep all of our stuff lubed up. All right, now that everything's lubed up, we're gonna give the pedal a little tap. Alright, we rolled forward a little bit, roll back, roll forward, and get my butt up off the seat. Uh, what do you know, it didn't work. Okay, so now we go through the normal thing, turn the key, bump the pedal, and it fires up. So, now we're going to try and make an adjustment on... The little sensor that we looked at earlier, this little plunger sensor right here. See if I can get you in there where you can see it. So this metal tab will touch. There's a little plunger inside that accordion, uh, inside that little rubber accordion. So looks like there is a lock nut on the back side. If you can see that, a lock nut back here. 
You should be able to break that loose, turn this sensor a couple times, and then it'll push out a little closer to this metal tab. And we'll see how that works. So I've removed the pin and the washer to this little dampener. And we'll get this cotter pin out also. <laughs> So that's both cotter pins, both washers. There's a little pin right here. We'll push it out. Pull it out the back side. And I dropped my pin. So you see the dampener came loose back here. And then we can just slide it off. Now it's out of the way. We got Looks like we can get to that sensor pretty easy now. Okay, so I've loosened up that lock nut back here. You can see the little gap between the lock nut and then the bracket that the sensor is screwed into. So, we will just give this a couple little turns. Try not to do it too much. Without, If we have to turn it a bunch, we're just going to disconnect this. This connector for the sensor. Okay, so that was just like two rounds or something. That should not mess with that wire very much at all. So I'm gonna tighten this lock nut down and then we're gonna try it again. Okay, so now we got the dampener back in, washer and cotter pin on that one, washer and cotter pin on that one. So now all there's left to do is Jump in there and see if that worked. All right, so the tractor's running. We're gonna bump the throttle forward, bump the throttle back, forward, let off. I get my boat up out of the seat. Yeah, looks like it's working. So let's bump it again. I'll get up. Okay, so that means should be able to turn it off. I'm gonna go wide open throttle, let off, see if it fires up. Well there, that is how you fix your treadle pedal not going back to the neutral position on an MX6000 Kubota tractor. Thank you, bye bye.